to rotate uh, this triangle uh, a double prime b double prime c double prime with the negative 90 degrees as the angle of rotation and the center of rotation being the origin is zero we're going to begin by joining each of these points we start with a double prime join a double prime begin by joining a double prime to the center of rotation so we draw a line joining a double prime to the center rotation then after doing that you measure the angle and this is how you measure the angle you measure the angle and this is uh, how you're going to place your uh, protractor so along that line so always make sure that the central part of the protractor is at the center of rotation which is that point then we have placed the protractor straight here along this line that is a double prime and the origin along this line that you have constructed here so that is how you're supposed to place it now to measure this angle remember we are rotating these uh, with an angle of negative 90 about this origin so negative 90 degrees we shall measure the angle in a clockwise direction from this point a double prime we measure this angle in a clockwise direction clockwise direction is this way from this point a we move this way that is a clockwise direction so that is how we're going to measure that that is very important and um, when you do that uh, this is uh, uh, what you're supposed to get uh, this one looks uh, you may get 90 degrees so 90 degrees will be somewhere here it will be here so from this point and in a clockwise direction 90 degrees will be there so we need to mark that point so let me mark uh, where we have 90 degrees yes i have marked so after marking so 90 degrees uh, will be somewhere there so the next thing you take a ruler and join you take a ruler and join so after drawing the line now you have that distance uh, this is the distance that is supposed not to take this is a distance here and you should confirm uh, whether that angle is indeed uh, 90 degrees before we go on and uh, when you look at that angle you notice um, yes indeed that angle is uh, 90 that angle is 90 so from this point uh, from this point going this way find uh, 90 is somewhere there when you do that measurement 90 is somewhere there so that is uh, how you're supposed to do that now the next thing you're supposed to do is to take this distance the distance from uh, point a double prime to the center of uh, rotation take that distance and that distance you transfer it there so we take uh, we're going to work using a um, pair of compass to do this so you take that distance and then the same distance Distance is supposed to be uh, transferred. Let me place it uh, properly. Let's take that distance, then you transfer that distance and mark and mark and mark that point there. It should be somewhere there at four. So that is how you're supposed to do it. Now, when you look at this distance uh, from this point to the and this point will be now uh, the image of A. So this point will be A triple prime. So A triple prime. So this distance, a triple prime to the center of rotation, then from the center of rotation to a prime, that distance should be the same. Now let us uh, do the same for B. I'm going to do this one very fast now. Uh, for B, uh, we start by joining. We join B double prime to the origin, uh, uh, to the origin which is the center of rotation. So let us join this. Join B double prime to the center of rotation. Then the second step is placing your protractor and measuring the angle so this is how you're supposed to place it is like that and then um, we measure 90 degrees uh, the central part of uh, the protractor is there then make sure that this protractor lies uh, straight on this line that you've drawn here joined b double prime this line should be straight then you measure the angle this way from this point going this way uh, we have 90 would be somewhere there so 90 will be there so we mark we mark 90 so 90 we mark it somewhere there uh, then after doing that now you take the ruler and uh, join using a straight line so join using a straight line yes after joining you can confirm uh, whether that angle is indeed 90 and um, 
yes it is 90 it is indeed 90 so after you measure that angle that way you will indeed confirm that that angle is 90 degrees so as you can see uh, the angle of measured uh, this is 90 degrees consider it is 90 for this point so after doing that uh, the next thing you're going to do is to take this uh, measurement now take uh, the measurement that is uh, me this you take this uh, measurement that is here so from the origin to B the bow prime that distance should be the same so let me do that so I want to so take that exact distance yes so this distance uh, from the center of rotation to b uh, double prime transfer that distance and you where this is where you get the image so you mark uh, that point so you shall mark that point and therefore uh, this point now will be the image of b double prime so this will be b triple prime it will be b triple prime now we go to the last point and the last point is c so we do the same thing we join c uh, we join c we join c to the the center of rotation so let me do that we join c to the center of rotation uh, like that then after joining as usual we place our, our protractor there along that line like that so that is how you join in a straight line then from there you take uh, this measurement you take this measurement from uh, from the center of rotation to c uh, to c yes take that uh, measurement so from the center that is the center of rotation to this point that is here a c double prime and um, you transfer the same and mark you transfer the same measurement and um, mark it there yes and that is uh, how you're supposed to get it so this distance are from the center of rotation to c double prime is the same from the center of rotation to the image so the image will be somewhere there so this is where we shall have a c triple prime this is where we have c triple prime so now we have completed our image so the first one is here a triple prime is there the image of uh, a double prime then the image of b uh, prime a b double prime is there so b triple prime is there and b double prime is there so then uh, c double prime is there and c triple prime is there so what is remaining now is to join them to form a triangle so let us join them to form the triangle very fast so we start by joining a double prime a triple prime to b triple prime like that yes we join b triple prime to c triple prime again we do that so that is the one and then the last one that you should join the last one that you should join is this a triple prime to c that one so we join that and that's all and that is uh, now the image so here is now the triangle a triple prime b triple prime c triple prime and a rotation of negative 90 about the origin so this is the image and that is how we're supposed to do it mm -hmm.